Hello everybody, my name is Zach Hartley and I built the PrintQ software. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to download it and get it set up properly. Let's jump right in. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to the printq.ca website. This is gonna be the home page. It might look a little bit different depending on when you are watching this video, but you're gonna to wanna to go to downloads and then at the top there should be the latest version of the software itself. Underneath it, you'll find information like the README, which is basically the instructions. You'll also find a bulk upload template in case you wanna upload multiple printers at the same time. You can also find a couple of print files that will help you with ejection there. I'll be continuously adding more, so hopefully there's more there by the time you watch this. But what you need to do is click on this link right here and it's gonna open up a window. It might take a couple of minutes, but it is gonna start the download process for the software. It will probably flag on Google or Microsoft or whatever platform you are using. We are in the process of getting the software certified. It hasn't been certified yet, but I can assure you, I will put my reputation on it, that it is completely safe to download to your computer. It is actually gonna help make you more money by making your print farm more efficient. And so what you need to do is download the software and then run the actual program, run the exe file. It should be called print queue setup or some variation of it. And what you wanna do is save it to your computer, run that file, and then I'm gonna walk you through the next step. Okay, so once you have the installer open and running, this is what the first page is gonna look like. It's gonna ask you for a license key. If you don't have a license key, you can just click on next and it's gonna allow you to connect to three printers. At least that's the settings that I have right now. It's gonna give you three printers completely for free. And then if you wanna connect more after that, you will have to buy a license or a subscription. But for now, we're just gonna assume that you're on the free plan. So we'll click on next. You can choose where you wanna install the file. For us, we're just gonna leave it as the default here. We're gonna call it print queue in the startup menu and then here is where I would recommend creating a desktop shortcut what that shortcut is going to do is when you click on it it's going to run the software and that software is going to open up an internet browser which is going to take you to your dashboard and so just having it easily accessible on the dashboard can be very helpful and very useful and then you need to click on install and it is going to download the software to your computer with the correct settings once it is downloaded, you have a few options here. This README document is gonna give you more detailed instructions than what you are seeing in the video here. So if you have any questions or any issues, that is somewhere that you may wanna check first. Okay, once the software is up and running, you should see a window like this pop up. This is basically all of the data as to what is happening in the software. And then the user interface itself is right here. And so now that you have it on your computer, the first thing that you may wanna do or you may wanna consider is adding some printers to it. Right now, the system is a little bit limited with regards to what printers it can add. For this example, we are looking at Prusa printers. So you would give it a name, say printer number one, you would add the IP address that you can find in the settings of the actual printer itself or on the Prusa Connect page if you have it connected. You can also connect the Prusa Link API key. You will need this information. Make sure you use the Prusa Link API key. And then you can give it a printer group. I usually use numbers starting with one, two, and three, but you can use whatever you prefer. Click on add printer and it will add it to the dashboard back here on the home page. Now, if you have multiple printers, you can download that template that I pointed out earlier on the downloads page and you can fill it out with your printer data and you can upload it to the page here. And what it will do is it will actually upload all of your printers at the same time. You can click on add these printers at the bottom. And then when you go back to the dashboard, you will see all of your different printers lined up here and ready to go. It will take a couple of minutes to connect them and they will slowly and gradually come online, but they will be accessible. They'll be ready to go. You can see right now my farm, we have five that are printing, number six, seven, eight, and nine are finished. And it just took about 30 seconds for them to connect. So it works really, really well. It's really, really easy. And that is how you get started with the software. After that, it's time to start sending it some jobs. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to the new orders section here. You're gonna choose the file that you wanna to send to the printers. You're gonna say how many you want to send to the printers. And then you're gonna select which group of printers you wanna send that to. So let's say for us, we wanna send that print to group one. We are going to turn off ejection. If you wanna learn how to use ejection, you're gonna to wanna to watch one of the future videos here, but we're gonna turn it off for now and then we're gonna click on send order. And what it's gonna do is it is gonna add it to the active order system here and it's gonna send that job to any printers that are in the ready state. I'm gonna talk more about this in future videos, but this is at least how you get the software set up. It's how you get it running. And now you've just sent your first job. So thank you so much for signing up. If you need more printers, visit printq.ca for a subscription and we'll see you there.